Hello guys, have you ever felt someone touching you lightly? If so, what did you feel at that moment? What is conveyed with the light touch? Here are 11 studies that reveal some of the interesting truths behind touch and human relationships. Let's get it on. Touch is the first sense we acquire and the secret weapon in many successful relationships. Here's how to regain fluency in your first language. If touch is a language, it seems we instinctively know how to use it. But apparently, it's a skill we take for granted. The Midas touch, it's real. Touch can convey regard and affection, and can also cause the recipient to feel respect and regard for the person who initiated the touch. When waitresses were asked to lightly touch a customer on the hand or on the arm, they received a larger tip. This happened with both male and female customers even though it did not affect the overall dining experience or other evaluations given by the individual. Touch and eye contact are a powerful combo. Touching is a sign of familiarity friendship and respect. When we touch someone in passing, we can increase the likelihood that they will respond to us with greater positive regard and the desire to help. When researchers made eye contact and casually touched a stranger in greeting, they were more likely to return times that were lost in telephone booths. Touch makes you appear more trustworthy. Touching someone on the arm when making a sales pitch communicates honesty confidence and well-informedness. Our brain seems to believe that only a true, knowledgeable person would touch us when pitching his product. This was seen particularly in same-sex interactions. Touch twice for maximum effect. More is better. When you touch a person twice while making a request, they are more likely to agree. This effect was seen when asking for simple as well as complicated favors with more complex requests, touch, and particularly touching twice, work best when a woman asks a man for a favor. People will do what you say. Across a number of studies, researchers have found that touching the person you are asking for a favor significantly increases the chances of them agreeing to your request. As the favor asked becomes larger, touch plays a more important role. This is particularly so when you're asking help from someone of the same gender. Men don't like being touched by another man. If you are a man, you may not have the same luck asking favors of other men. Research in Poland showed that when men use touch with other men, when making a request, they were less likely to succeed than when they did not use touch. It might be that homophobia and social norms play an important role in men's decision making. The same effect was not seen for women, but it was for women. If a woman touches a man while communicating, it tends to increase the man's interest in the women. A light, casual touch by a woman seems to be interpreted by men as a sign of interest and or liking. Men also tend to feel more interest in women when they perceive that they had been given a signal of interest. And it works when you're dating too. Women are more likely to agree to interact with a man who is courting them if he lightly touches their arm when making contact. This study found that when a woman experienced a light touch on her arm for just a second of two, it conveyed information about the dominance and confidence of the man courting her. Unwittingly, this increased the chance of her agreeing to his request. Touch can communicate numerous emotions. It is commonly known that we can recognize another's emotion from their facial expressions and from their voice. Studies suggest that we also recognize emotions like anger, fear, disgust, love, gratitude, and sympathy with some efficacy through touch. Even when 
we can see the person who is touching us. We can also identify emotions correctly when we observe the way others communicate using touch. Again, without information about facial cues. It seems that specifics of how we touch others, the pressure, the location, the frequency and others provide detailed knowledge about our emotional state. First to touch has higher social status. In any communication, who initiates touch is a clear indicator of social status. It seems that all humans follow some unset rules, wherein the person with higher status chooses whether touch becomes a part of the communication. This status could be derived from sex, race, age or socioeconomic status. When persons of the same status interact, touch is used as a sign of solidarity and acceptance. And finally, touch can swing the gender balance. When the power difference is evident between men and women, the person who initiates touching the other tends to gain power. A study finds that touch can be a powerful two-way. When persons are of the same status, touch alone does not affect the power structure. This suggests that in unequal situations, we assume that the person who initiates touching is more powerful. Hope you have understood the power of touch. Do comment your thoughts in the comment section below. If you are watching the channel for the first time, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications.